We're in Damascus, Syria, and for a change, I'm going to start with the Dawn flight. So let's check out the flight plan. Uh, so Damascus International is at the southeast corner of Damascus. Uh, so we're going to fly directly west to the town of Artos, and there's a highway to section there, right in the centre of town. Hopefully we can spot that. Um, it was a bit hard to find distinctive landmarks right there, but uh, we've got an east-west road meeting at kind of north-south highway, so hopefully we can see that. Then we head up the highway for seven miles to the Presidential Palace. Up here, that should be easy to spot. It's a nice big grounds. Uh, I think it's got a wall around it. By the look of it. It's kind of oriented east-west. And then another 13 miles up to across the top of Damascus to the Cloverleaf intersection here, which should be pretty easy to spot, very distinctive. And, and there's at least when the satellite image is taken, there's not much around it in the way of buildings, so that, that really helps as well. And then back to the airport. So intersection, palace, and uh, intersection. Just going to uh, just going to change the view on the map. There we go. Just make it a little bit clearer to see that we can see. Um, I'll try another one actually. Uh, this one. Just trying to show. This is it. That yes, Damascus indeed lies within the flight plan and we'll be touching the south of it, flying along the top of it. So we'll be getting a lot of it uh, in uh, between waypoint 1, 2 and 3 actually. So look forward to starting with a morning flight uh, for a change. You can see the sun just about to come up. So let's get into it. So lined up on runway 2, 3 left to Damascus is the inline map. We're going to take off and head west to waypoint one. Uh, front cockpit showing so you can see some instruments as the sun just begins to come up. 40 knots, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We rotate. Oh, strong crosswind. Compensate with the stick. Gear up, flaps up, going through 150 knots, 170, 200, you can release the stick a little bit. Sun's coming up and we're turning to the left. Mike India Golf 1. south of the about course. Let's have a look at the map. Because of that takeoff turn, etc. But we're coming back onto course now. Nice. Now the runway altitude here was 2,005 feet. So I'm sitting now at three and a half thousand, which puts us 1500 above the ground. Very flat terrain, except for the mountains to the west over there. Let's check our course, press V. And yep, almost back on track. So let's turn heading due west. See the compass rose down the bottom of the cockpit. Big W. Come to the top that puts us heading exactly west. There we go. Check the map. We should be pretty much on that magenta line. We're pretty close. Cool. 
They're about halfway already to the first turn point, which is uh, where the highway meets uh, North South Highway meets the East West Road. So the traffic lights here, traffic lights, road lighting should make it a bit easier to spot that intersection. And that's actually why I chose to do a morning flight first, which I it's the first time I think. Because those intersections can be really hard to spot uh, during daylight hours. But as you can see the roads stand out pretty well at night time. So we're really looking for something like where this road meets the one ahead of us, but I think it's slightly south. I think it's just check the map. Yeah, it's uh, pretty close to here, a little bit to the left. So let's turn left and see if we can see it out the right side of the cockpit. Check the map. Yep, we're looking for that triangle, waypoint one. And there it is, we can see, see the T-shape in front of us where the north-south road meets the east-west road. That's exactly what we wanted. Let's get a shot of that. Let's get the wing cab on it. That's it. That is our turning point. Excellent. So back in the cockpit. Now we're going to turn to the north. Follow this main road. Now let's get slightly to the uh, right of the road because our next the next steering point is going to be on the left over there the presidential palace oh there's an airport didn't notice that before I mean so if you've got more time on your hands you could um, could always call that airport and uh, do a touch and go on your way up the road Okay, so the compound will be on the left of the road, presidential palace, quite a large enclosure, should have some lights around it, let's stick to the right here. So there's the main road, heading up north there, pretty much at the top of this runway. Now, it's only about four miles to the uh, compound. We can, we can see the city We're coming into a very built up area. Let's check our map again. Yep, so a couple of miles away on the left. Let's see what we can see. It should be very close now, actually. Uh, can we see the compound? Uh, I'm not sure we can. Oh, that's, a, that's a bit disappointing. I'm do, going to do a left hand turn. Unless it's on top of this hill. Is, that could be it there. Let me just get my turn sorted out. Usually I get these turn points pretty accurately mapped. Okay, so we're looking... Hmm. Ah, okay, I think it's on top of this hill. Yeah, this is it. This large building here. So that, that's it for sure. It looks like a palace and it's on a hill overlooking the city. Not a lot of lights on it. That's it, though. Cool. Let's uh, get a shot of that from the proper direction. I'll uh, come back to the south towards the airport and just run past that again. There we go. Turning back to the north. Uh, there it is, it's on. So, 
Actually, that's a good sight picture. You see the road running around the bottom of the hill, up the hill to the palace. There it is there. We'll come back in the daytime when it will be clearer, but at least we, we found it. Okay, continuing to the north. And wow, the lights of Damascus. Now, actually, that hill there would be a good turn point. It's very tall, but anyway. Shows what we've chosen for now. So let's continue up. It's nice. So I might, I might adjust that um, turn point, considering what we saw there, and um, I might make the turn point actually on the next hill, which is much more prominent. Be easy to spot. Okay, let's get my wind camera out there. Yep, it's Damascus to the east. So, once again, we're following the, the road up here on the right. We've got very tall hills on the left. And we're looking for another intersection coming up in about three miles. Should be a big cloverleaf intersection, shouldn't be too hard to see. Somewhere up here. Check our map. Uh, yep, yeah, we're just about on top of it, so looking for a large intersection. Can we see it? Is it a bus? There's a couple of intersections here. It's this one. Yep, look at the patterns. That's the clover leaf, as we call it. Not that well lit, but the shape's all there. Cool. And a hard turn back to 13 miles back to the airport. back to the south. So that was interesting, not 100% successful as far as spotting that uh, second, the, the palace on the first pass, but that's what this VFR flying is all about. You don't, it's like a treasure hunt, you don't always bag the fish on the first cast. And we did find it. I'll come back later in the morning when the sun's up and I think I'll, I think we'll find it's much easier to spot that bit of water down there except the reflection of the moon. Okay, here's the airport. Let's give them a call. Uh, channel 2. Channel 1. Mike India Golf 2. Mike India Golf 1. Okay, 
same one where we took off from. So they're over there on the right. You can see the first runway will be 23 right. The second one will be 23 left. Just pull my map up. Confirm. Yeah, you can see the airport there. If we zoom in with the mouse, drag it around, you can see very clearly where we are. Cool, so I'm going to land on the second runway. Slow up. Once to drop the gear, gear down, flaps down, throttle back, it's our stall warning, actually got a bit slow there, beautiful colours as the sun comes up. And yeah, nice easy approach today to uh, runway 23 left at Damascus. Very leisurely approach this one. Let's throttle back. One three three. One three zero. At the threshold, we're doing one two four. So I'm going to start to flare, add some thrust, 110 touching down at 107, which is pretty nice. And there we go. Certainly will. Roger Walker. Hard right runner gets us around the corner. And there we go. I'll come back later in the morning and probably in the evening as well.